Kali, Parrot versus some other flavor of Linux, because some people are really adamant that you have to use a certain flavor of Linux to be a hacker. I would not agree with that. I would say that either, either one of them are excellent tools, okay? And they have different strengths. I'm not a, a flamer on either one of those. Yeah, exactly. And I would say, you know, choose one or both. You know, I have both of them. And I find that, you know, sometimes I'm using Parrot and sometimes I'm using Kali. In my classes, I always use Kali just to be consistent. But yeah, the, the, the people who are, you know, screaming at each other over which one's a better platform don't have, um, they have too much time on their hands and not enough things, other things to worry about. Yeah, it's, exact, it's exact, exactly right. I mean, I often say use the tool that's right for you because people have different... Uh, tastes so um, you use what works so i'm glad you've you've addressed that so um you use both um you use i've seen you use kali in all your demos and that's just to be consistent it's not because it's better right i wouldn't say it's better i'd say it's just to be consistent and uh, i do use i'm going to put a plug in for dragon os which is a, a new operating system for doing sdr which is really really good i think it's the best operating system for running sdr for hacking and uh, excellent tool i can't remember the fellow's name who put it together but he's done an excellent job you got all the tools in one place and they all work well rather than having to constantly download and and find the dependencies. So it's Dragon OS and uh, great operating system. So I use that after having gone through a number of using Kali for SDR and using Parrot for SDR and a number of other specifically designed operating systems for SDR, I've settled on Dragon OS. So yeah, that's great. I mean, we, we covered that actually in another video. So I'll put that below where we, uh, where we did some SDR stuff and you showed Dragon. So that was great. Um, now I'm, I'm, I think the, the moral of the story is if you know Linux, you can jump from one to the other, right? Exactly. I mean, they're all Linux. I mean, both Parrot and uh, and Kali are both Debian Linux, right? So if you know Linux, and another plug for knowing <laughs> Linux, right? If you know <laughs> Linux, <laughs> if you know Linux, this you know it's it's kind of a foundational skill, you know, and you can take it. You can take it to Ubuntu. You can take it to Red Hat. You can take it to any of those operating systems, but you got to know Linux first. And you know, there's so much. You know, one of the hottest areas of hacking right now is IoT hacking, hacking the Internet of Things, which simply means all the devices that are now digitally connected in the world, including refrigerators and baby monitors and garage door openers and what have you. But all of those devices have small Linux kernels in them. They're all being run on Linux. And so if you want to be able to hack those things, which is kind of the leading edge of hacking, then you need to know your Linux, right? Because when you get inside, you're going to find Linux there.